folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever with the Nordic DLC. Uh, you've just watched the uh, the pool oil goods service. Uh, you're just swinging past this new junction that I built last time around. Uh, a pretty majestic sight, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, I'd, originally I had parked here hoping that the, uh, the Haxby and Masham service... Uh, Haxby, of course, being very close to the uh, the Swedish Hexa, uh, which is uh, witchcraft. Yeah, there you go. Or witch, I think. See, yeah, see, I was waiting for this to come past. It was going to be, you know, really clever, right? So, look, let's just pretend, use your imaginations here, and I start saying, Hello, friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Train Fever with the Nordic DLC. This might just look like the great open doors, but then the train comes past. See, that's the kind of staging I was, I was going for there. Uh, kind of worked, but who knows. Anyway, uh, let's follow this chap along for a moment. Um, as you can see, it's got 13 on board. Now, it's already made its first stop and, uh, and dropped off 11, which means I do need to add another wagon. But I'm not going to do that because doing so refreshes the age of the train. Unless I take it all the way back to the depot, but I can't be bothered with that. Um, and I don't want to do that because there's a new uh, locomotive due relatively soon. And I want to make sure that, uh, that that's the new train that I put in place. So for now, it's just going to under-deliver a little for the short term. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll fix that right up. So let's just have a quick swing by and, and check in on everything else that we've recently been tinkering with. How much are you carrying there? 23 of 30. You're also in need of an upgrade. But the good news is that this increased demand is uh, is greatly increasing profitability. I've, I played through maybe, maybe two months, something along those lines. Um, and uh, and we're, we're up pushing a million now in terms of uh, cash in the bank. Um, and that's a that's a very nice place to be, because it means that I can I can carry out my expansion. Now, last time around, I made numerous kind of veiled uh, allusions to uh, to some kind of grand and wacky scheme that I was going to be employing in this series, and I said that I would fill you in on what that wacky scheme is. So I'm going to fill you in on what that wacky scheme is. Now, if we take Masham, and I have experimented with Masham already to see if this works. Masham is a pretty typical town, eh? right? Uh, let's have a look at uh, Kidsgrove. Yeah, we haven't mentioned Kidsgrove particularly much. Pretty typical town, right? Fairly small. Uh, if we have a quick look at town sizes, we only have seven to play with. Uh, Haxby, I imagine, is the largest at the moment. Yeah, by, by a, fair, a fair chunk. But over the course of this, this series, uh, we're going to build up all of these towns to be as big as they possibly can be. Um, but uh, that's only going to give a finite number of connections, right? And that, in turn, means only a finite number of towns will actually... Uh, towns? Trains. Only a finite number of trains will actually start taking place. So I thought that, well, how about building some unnecessary passenger services? To which you're kind of going, what? what? What's, what's he on now? Uh, here's the here's the idea. I'll zoom out here. Now, the, the idea is we're going to build uh, a route that goes all the way around the outside. Okay? Nothing radical about that in the slightest. Uh, the only station that gets left out in the cold as a result of that is Haxby. Uh, you know, Paul is serviced here, uh, as is Masham and uh, Marlow and Lostwithiel and Bridport uh, and Kidsgrove, of course. Um, but that's only half the story. So that will resolve in having one station on the outside of each of the towns, right? Then I'm going to put another station on the inside of each town. I know, your minds are blown. And that station will run services through Haxby to the town on the opposite side of the map. So coming out of uh, Masham here, you'll go through Haxby uh, all the way to Lost With you. Possibly, or maybe to Bridport. I'll I'll figure that out when the time comes. That's that you know that's expensive. That's not a cheap route to build. Um, but the same applies to everything else, right? It'll be a, a three stopper. So Kids Grove through Haxby to Marlow, Lost Withiel through Haxby to Pool. See, beautiful beautiful work there. So Haxby's going to become kind of a, a centralised hub, and that's two stations, and then. 
from each station, I'm going to build two more. I'm going to build one on this side of the town and another one down the bottom. And I'm going to build an interior loop that goes around one town. So each town will have its own uh, kind of circular internal ring route. Um, and it will have uh, an external on the outside and an external going through the middle. Now, the upshot should be that there are fast and slow routes to get to just about everywhere on the map, and it will allow people to uh, to choose multiple ways in order to do so. The goal, of course, being that uh, that every town eventually builds up to have a population in excess of a thousand, which is the point at which you can really start to be aggressive in your uh, in your planning, I suppose. Um, but the upshot uh, for, for the short term is expensive stations. Um, and also, given that stations do somewhat interfere with... Uh, hey, see, look, that's, I mean, that's properly expensive. I don't want to spend 700,000. What can we get? I mean, we should we lose 300,000 if I go medium length. Maybe that's... Actually, that's probably the way to go. In none of my playthroughs so far have I actually needed a full length station which almost certainly means that this is the one where I do. However, there we go. So, uh, with a four-track station right here, the outside, as we look at it, so the right-hand side as we look at it now, is going to be the kind of external intertown connection. Uh, and then the, in, the uh, inside line is going to be the, the round Masham Express. Okay? I think you're all on board with, with where I'm going here. Uh, whether you believe it's going to work or not is, I mean, that's, a, that's an entirely separate question, but uh, there you go. That's my goal. That's, that's what we're going to try and achieve. It's going to take a nice long time as well. There you go. That's my, my little lip on there. And then, of course, uh, as far as interior services, each town will also have a tram service that goes, I'm going to basically demolish the town center. I mean, this one maybe maybe won't need it. In order to build a, a kind of circular center area, uh, this kind of triangle that they've got going on here. Um, and inside that will be a tram station or a tram depot that will deliver people to all of the train stations. And there we go. That's the plan. That's the goal. That is the dream that uh, you and I will be living together over the course of this series. Anyway, I'm now going to spend a hell of a lot of money on getting this built. So, uh, yeah, so first things first, we're just going to build from, I mean, this is pretty, this is actually a pretty swanky route from Masham to Marlow. At the moment, the only way you can get there is going via Haxby uh, in, a, in a horse and cart. And let's face it, you know, as much as people are currently queuing up for that experience, it's not going to be a quick one, so replacing it with trains should, in relatively short order, generate a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of business. Now, if I can lay this out in such a way, see, look, that looks quite nice. It's a very scenic uh, DLC approach. Uh, is uh, is this bit of Nordic? And so I, I want to uh, I want to ensure that people get a, a solidly good view. All along the way. How quickly am I going to run out of money here? I think you can tunnel that. Let's go all the way. Let's. Uh, what are we looking for here? If I take the uh, if I take the quick route, three and a half million quid plus a station at the other end. Well, now I'm a little away from having that kind of money in my back pocket. I might uh, rummage down the back of the bank sofa in a moment and uh, and see what I can pull out. In fact, I think I'm going to have to rummage down the back of the bank sofa. We want to get this done, right? So let's. Uh, where are we? We've got f we're four million in the hole at the moment. We can we can up the tempo. Two million. All right, that's my budget. I'm going to leave it on pause. Well, why leave it on pause? Let's make some more money. Um. Hopefully, we can get there with a little bit of change out of two million quid. Right, let's have a quick look at the elevation here. So by going up, it's by in inclining the track in this way, we might save a little bit of tunneling cost. 
steady on. You are you are heading off off piste there, and that's that's not ideal. There we go. Is that broadly pointing in the right direction? It is. It's still a quarter of a million quid's worth of tunnel, but uh, all being well. Oh, ugh. no, don't like that. Yeah, you see, you built your tunnel too high up, and now you've got to build a whacking great bridge. I mean, it is quite an attractive whacking great bridge, but it's a whacking great bridge nonetheless. Right, I'm, I'm done with you for the moment, unless I need to make another, another withdrawal from the bank of... You didn't budget this very well, did you? Right, look, here's the here's the plan. I don't want unnecessarily unnecessary undulation in this bit of track that I'm putting together. So how's about you get with the program and uh, and let me just build it? Go on, go in a straight line then. A straight line into a tunnel, and we're going to need that tunnel to curve in to reach our final destination. Now, I do, I, for those who have watched multiple series of this, I will observe that I tend to shy away from using wooden bridges. Um, it's not because I don't find them appealing, uh, but it's just that I am. I am a big softy. For a you know an industrial revolution era stone viaduct kind of an idea. What have we got going on here? Down? No. 1.5 million. That's a lot, and that's a heck of a lot of underground we've got going on there. I think we can. I'm sure we can do this better. 230. 195. It's a steep one, all right, but then you know we're we're dealing with a, a a complex a complex landscape. Let's pull it out there. So I'm I'm using the uh, the, the kind of the passenger coach station over there as my as my kind of guide point. There we go. You see, you've 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 managed to save a bit of cash with this approach. Is that too bendy? No, it's not too bendy. This will be another tunnel. The question is, where is it coming out? There we go. Half a million on a tunnel. I can live with half a million on a tunnel. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, some of this is going to need to be relayed. As I... Um, actually, this section, probably not so much. But uh, but certainly, goods uh, good services that I'm, I'm plumbing into stations. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a, in a moment. But... Uh, Hold on. Have I made that unworkable? Potentially. I want my station out here. As ever, perhaps I should have done that first. Right, 450 grand's worth of station. Oh, 370 grand. That's, uh, I'll take it. Don't wrap it. I'll ride it home. There we go. Right. Bang in a bit of a nice big bit of road to encourage some AI growth. Hook everything up. Now it is miles away from the the existing passenger services, and in fact, it's miles away from where people live in this town. But people will get excited. I'm I'm hopeful that uh, about the the, the prospect of, of riding on the train, and as such, they will uh, they will flock eagerly. To this this brand new wonder of the modern age. Now we've got a bit of a wiggle on the end there. Don't want too much of a wiggle. That feels like it could be quite scenic. It also feels like I've got the right money to be able to pay for that, but let's just check I'm on the right piece of track. I'm on the right piece of track. I'll take it. There we go. First piece of passenger line ready to rock. So this is going to be, uh, so this eventually will be uh, a circuit, right? This will be a, a, a loop-based service. There you go. Massmar. All right, that's, that's its name. Massmar. Simple. 
all we need now is uh, is an appropriate train to run off it. And I was hoping that by leaving the thing running, uh, that the uh, the new locomotive would arrive by now, because this uh, Prince August is uh, is not going to be quick enough. Let's use this alternate engine shed here, this alternate depot, and then we're just waiting for. I don't know, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for a, waiting for the new loco. Where is it? Uh, yeah, oh, right, yes, all right. Well, while I wait, I'll give it till the end of this year. So we're in, uh, where are we, 1863. I'll give it till 1864 to see if, uh, see if my luck is in. Um, but while doing so, so, right, remember, right, we've got our, our station here, which for the sake of argument, we'll call North. Uh, then we'll have the East station down here, the East terminal. Uh, and then we'll have, it's not a terminal, it's just a station. Terminals are, 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 are what's the thing, a, a terminus. It's the, the end, the end of the line is a terminus. Um, so we'll have our east station down here, and then we'll have south, and then we'll have west, right? Now, the problem with south is uh, you've got this flaming goods station in the way. So I am going to have to delete that at some point whack this track back again. I want to do something with this ugly bit of road anyway, um, but relay the, the good station in such a way that it uh, is good. It makes sense. Um, but we're not quite there yet. Now I'm going to encourage you to build in a way that is harmonious with my glorious plans. I don't want to have to be compulsorily purchasing everybody's houses because the AI has got overexcited about the uh, the prospect of stuff this we're going to hit fast forward um, yeah the, the prospect of, of all of this exciting new land to build on right what are you carrying here eight so already we should be well we've got chances are we're at a point where yeah Haxmus is is having a a desperately poor time trying to keep up with uh, the demand for its services. Everyone else is more or less okay. How are we doing for oil? 33, and my oil train then carries 30. Come on, I need the new engine. Otherwise, this is, this is not going to expand. And I imagine this refinery is saying something along the lines of, try and deliver more everything. So we've got product limit of 130 at the moment. That's all good. Yeah, in fact, that's that's better than all good. That's that's money in the bank. And how are we doing? So if we look at uh, the growth in profits of railroads introduced in 90, well, I think we've introduced them a couple of years before that, maybe 58. Um, but 650,000 in 1860, 1.1 1 .1 the year after. 848 last year. Where are we? October. And 790 so far this year. Okay. That's all right. I'll, I'm going to pay back some of the uh, some of the loan fairly soon as well. Not because, you know, I, I'm a Puritan when it comes to loans, but throwing away 91 and a half grand every year feels to me like a, like a duff move. Like a, a, a you know... A foolish idea. Right, end of November, one more month uh, running at this speed, and then hopefully we will have a new train. Otherwise, I'll just have to buy the old one and bite the bullet um, in expanding it further. But look at all this stuff that's just waiting to be picked up. I desperately need to... And, and the reason for, for waiting for the new train... No, it's January, it's not happening. I'm going to have to make some some changes immediately you just wait there I'm giving you an upgrade is this a good idea it's a terrible idea I should just I should just muscle it through muscle through and 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 wait all right okay so we'll leave the we'll leave the goods running because it could be 1865 um, in which case, you know, the wait isn't going to be too long. But I will buy a train now so that I can finish off saying, there we go, look, I made it all happen in one go. Um, and the main reason for waiting is that the new train, it does 50 miles an hour instead of 37, and uh, and it's got a heck of a lot more power and tractive effort, which results in, uh, well, it just results in me being able to haul more about. One, two, three, four, five, we'll do for now. 25 passengers, do we feel that's going to be enough? 
There's an easy way to find out. Uh, there we go. Mass Mar. Off you go. Should we zoom in and, and watch the maiden voyage of our passenger train here? There we go. Don't watch the good station. It's just going to bum you out. Okay, there we go. So, uh, the first passengers will be on our uh, on our network fairly soon. Um, equally, I want to get the uh, I want to get stations entirely looped up. So, with all of their illustrious and and you know maddening um, kind of uh, big city stations, I want to get that set uh, relatively soon, so that I don't have to buy up all of the all of the houses of the AI in order to get it built later. It also means that I can, you know, I can plot for them expanding now and get interior services done right. Uh, and if I leave it till later, it's just going to cost me five times as much. So next time around, uh, what are we going to see? Well, hopefully the new train will have turned up by next time and then we can do some replacement there and we can reap the rewards of that. But that's that's not, not a good focus for a for a whole episode. I wonder if this bridge is going to allow me to double track it without breaking a sweat. Well, we'll find out. Um, or should we do the, the let's do this let's do the stage shot of something exciting happening, shall we? What do we think? Coming over the viaduct. Go on, give me a give me a slightly different height than that. Does this work, do we think? I think this works. Um, yeah, so uh, so next time out, I think we're going to continue developing Masham to build our first interior circuit. Or maybe we do it at Marlow. I'm going to leave you guessing as to which one it'll be. Um, it'll be one or the other. We want to get an internal circuit working relatively quickly. Um, the, and we won't expand... See that with the shot right there. That's that's great, that is. Uh, also, I think we can. We, there might be one to appreciate just a little... We're like you know peeking through the trees. Nah, that one wasn't so good. Uh, is there one more coming out from here? See, look, that's that's really rather race, isn't it? Um, anyway, yes, uh, things about things. Uh, get a couple of towns set up with their internal circuits sooner rather than later, and then we can uh, then we can press on and start replicating that in other areas of the map. So there you go. Uh, that's why you should be subscribed if you're not already. And such a hair-brained hair -brained plan is why you should press the like button on this uh, video. That's, you know, just my opinion, but uh, I think it's a good... Has this train blown a gasket? It does seem to be giving out an awful lot of smoke. Is it going upstairs? Upstairs? Uphill. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. I will catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. This, 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 this.